This is Boreal and Blade. This is on the Nintendo Switch. It is a fighting game. You're able to customize certain elements of your character in regards to gear and, you know, gender, body, some options like that. You get small tweaking kind of settings to change how you look. And then you go into battle. So this can be done locally, but it is primarily an online game. There's a training hall. The tutorial is like really awful to look at it, and that's why we're going to start by showing that off because my god is this atrocious. I w like I know why you have to have this kind of thing in here, but it does no favors for showing off this game in a good light. Anyways, the animations and any everything in this are just really sort of rough in this demo thing and it just kind of makes things look really bad like the animations are kind of like a sort of laughable in that and I, I don't ugh. yeah it's kind of like a really ugly way to start the experience and everything but I just kind of want kind of want to show off because I thought it was sort of funny to take in especially it's like this part uh, you like hitting the tree down or something and I think it just kind of like goes like right over him and he doesn't even react <laughs> it's just, yeah, so we're gonna jump into the actual game. I just wanted to show off what this tutorial was like. Okay, so we get a couple of options. You can host a game, there's quick play, and you can choose what you want to do. Uh, duels, acclaim kind of things, and there's team deathmatch. We're gonna go to the server browser so we can just take a look at who's playing. Uh, not crazily popular, but it is uh, fairly late at night, so we'll. Well, wow, that's uh, not five players. We'll join this game so we can show it off. So there are a number of maps present. Uh, I don't think the game really looks too visually appealing in my opinion. It's it's kind of ugly. So you can either, there's a, a spectate, or you can join. Oh, I, I guess I've joined a, a full lobby? That's fantastic, even though it was empty. I don't know why you're allowed to do that. But yeah, I guess we could just kind of show off the spectating at this point. Uh, it's got sort of like, I guess, an artsy sort of push to it. It's super minimalistic, so I was hoping maybe it'd be a little smoother on the eyes. I don't know if it looks more condensed on the YouTube, but it's it's pretty rough on the 4K. I mean, obviously, when you're on the, the docked version, it's a little bit, uh, you know, appealing, more appealing to look at, just because everything's more squished pixel-wise. But yeah, this is kind of like the game. It's a uh, stamina-based combat thing, and that's really all there is to it. I mean, you do get a couple of modes, but it's just sort of like really awkward, slow kind of combat between people. It is fairly violent, but I don't know. It, it's, it's sort of awkward. So we're going to jump out of here. We'll actually we'll see if we can actually join a team. Nope. And we'll disconnect because we actually want to get into a lobby. So we're just kind of waiting to get into uh, the next round here, but we actually did get into a team on this one. And yeah, again, very, very odd, this one. Like, I I know that there's other similar titles that have this sort of multiplayer focus in regards to, you know, just a straight-up combat game. But there's not really any content to it. it it's very, very light in what it provides. Uh, like, I saw, you know, that the Frozen Bite title was just being surprise released, and that was like a fighting-type game. So I was like, ah, cool, let's see what kind of neat thing they do with it on the Switch, and then I used my free trial of Nintendo Switch Online for this. And I gotta say, definitely, definitely disappointed. Let's sneak up there. Oh, we get a hold down. So you can actually kind of hold your sword, and then it, like, changes color, and it's a bit more of a, like, a striked one. But this is kind of like what it is. You got these, like, ugly kind of blob people, and then you're sort of hoping that you're sword connects with people and you can change your perspective there for where your sword's going but yeah it's just like awkward as hell you can hurt teammates too which is interesting ow uh, you can also do other things I mean there's like sprinting but you can you can kick which is kind of a different thing and you can do like a side thing so I'm gonna hopefully come up and flank this person let me cut down on that shield a bit. Ugh, nope. Oh, that was a really nice impale. But yeah, because you can like throw things. But it's sort of like this just really slow, clunky kind of multiplayer only title. 
I, I will say it's, it's neat that they have different modes. I, I guess the fighting has some level of dynamic play to it, but yeah. I, I don't know if there's better options on the Switch, but like, I've, I've played better versions of kind of what this aims to be. Like, it's a neat idea, and I guess I kind of get what they were they were going with for it, but it's like, uh, I don't know. I, d I don't really find this too appealing, to be honest. I, you know, it, it seems a little buggy. The animations are rough. It just it kind of feels awkward. It, it seems like a, a bit rushed. Which is, could explain why it's out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I guess he had me with the, the shield there. I don't know if the balancing is too good. Not saying that just because I died, but like, you know, I've played some matches and stuff like this. I just, I don't know, th there's not really much engaging in this one to really capture interest. I will say the spectation style setup is actually pretty good on this game. <laughs> Yeah, they, they've definitely got the spectator mode uh, down, but yeah, there's, there's like a few modes. The game doesn't really look that great. It, it seems kind of just like thrown together. I mean, the idea is kind of cool, but it would have been nice to have, I don't know, maybe some other modes to it, like a, a survival against some AI or something. I don't know, just anything else. It's just sort of straight up combat. I mean, it'll be cool for a little bit of time but after that you'll probably be done with it really quick like I am because I mean it's like it's it's just so hard to like line up any meaningful slashes and stuff uh, I'm trying to get up here now he's up there eh? I don't know it, it just it seems like it feels so clunky and I don't know if you're getting that from seeing the footage of it but Ugh, it's just like awkward as hell. I don't know if that makes it more strategic. I, I feel that it doesn't. But you know, that's that's completely up to you and what do you, you think of this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Try to get up there. Nope. So, I mean, you do get some movement levels, which is kind of cool. You know, you kind of get to the side, or you get the fire kind of intensity going. Hopefully, we can get this guy soon. But there's also times where, like, people can kind of just run away for a bit, which is annoying. Yeah, then I get cut up. Nice use of the uh, the shield there. I guess I should also show the uh, the control options here. I do like that the menus kind of flow together. I think that's neat. They kind of just like customize and tweak things at all times, which is neat. But yeah, this is the kind of the control scheme that you're you're dealing with on stuff. And the visuals, it's just like a brightness change, which is kind of expected because, you know, it's the Switch. Oh, what's going on here? Are they still, still fighting this guy? Or... Oh, we got the glow cloud coming in. That's when stuff gets real. Yeah. You gotta stay in the ring. This is how it keeps matches going a little bit quicker. I mean, there are the different game modes, like I've mentioned, so it, it kind of mixes things up a little bit. I don't know, just like the balancing just feels so weird in this, and you're kind of just thrown into people, and some people have certain things, and... So here we are on another map. This one's a little bit more right to the point, I guess. Uh, you get, like, XP for finishing matches, I guess I should say, otherwise you kind of don't. And then, yeah, you get the rewards and stuff, which is why things are a little bit different for some players. Ah. Ugh. <laughs> I don't I don't know, I just I find this like awkward as kinda hell to do. But then again, some people might find this entertaining. Oh I just got slashed. That's that's not great. Tip Perry, fuck. Yeah, I know how to focus block. Come on. Get your sword out to jink and get ready to die. Did somebody throw a sword at him? Because that's pretty funny. Oh, it looks like an axe. Yeah, like mentioning the, the whole throwing mechanic is kind of like a bit strange in this. We'll see. 
kind of what happens here. But pretty sure this person's just gonna die. So I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, that guy's gonna fist punch him down. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's really hard to discuss and go over because there isn't a whole lot to it. It's got like a, a neat sort of, you know, visual tone that they've gone with. I think it looks pretty bad considering, you know, how minimalistic it is. You would think it would be a little bit sharper than it is, but yeah. I don't know, it just kind of seems like quickly thrown together. Again, going to that comment, you do get an alright selection of maps, I guess. Ow. Oh, right in the neck, that hurt. And you do get some modes. It's just, like, not a whole lot to the experience. Okay, so the last match I got really bored of because it kept going on and on, and I wanted to show off a different map, so, like, I quit that. And then I joined another one, and that was pretty boring, waiting for them to kind of get going. So now we're, uh... We're here, and there's a fire pit in the middle, because I wanted to show off another one of the levels. <sighs> just really not a fan of this game. <laughs> it's just kind of awful. And just not what I was anticipating going into it, so I'm, I'm definitely a little bit disappointed by it. it it's just so boring. And, uh, yeah, it's like impossible to uh, level up, because I don't want to finish matches because it's so boring <laughs> and it takes forever <laughs> and then the little mist thing comes in and it's like a slow burn to actually get anything going it's just like a lot of spectating as people like slowly swing against one another and if you if you attack too much you know you have to wait forever for stuff to get going oh man like this guy's got like no health just finish him there we go oh we won the game fantastic yeah the battle is getting way too long Thought I'd show off the uh, the map list right here, so you can see what that's like. Those are the map options. So I thought I'd show off one final map because I thought this one was kind of the nicest of what's available. Ow! Ah! I like how respectful he is that we fight, even though it's a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with this. 